Hi, I'm Kranti Zambu. You're watching Overdrive, and this is the upcoming Skoda Kailak. You must be wondering why this car is camouflaged and why are we standing in a place which looks like a racetrack. So in this video, we are going to answer all those questions and many more because we all know this is the product which Skoda is uh, going to launch very soon and this is coming in a segment which is already very crowded. So uh, what are we doing at this track? What all uh, can we talk about? What all can we not talk about? Everything in this video. But before we start that, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, comment in case uh, you like this video. Video or you have some question about this product. Indians have named it. The Indian plant will produce it for the Indian and international markets. And the global premiere of the Skoda Kailak will happen in India. The product will carry the Kailak badge at every international market. This is the first time we see Skoda trying a segment that is less about premium positioning and more about value. This segment is the largest chunk of the engine car market and has several options. With 95% localization, Skoda management is promising competitive pricing. But is that the only factor influencing this segment's buying decision? And how does this car measure up against those parameters? We will find that out soon, but not in this video. Today, we are going to drive the Skoda Kailak just to experience the drive and handling of this car. So question number one, what is Skoda Kailak? So this is going to be the subcompact SUV uh, segment offering from Skoda. And as you know, this uh, segment is uh, growing fast. Lots of competition around 10 to 11. If we exclude uh, Skoda and Volkswagen uh, products like Kushak and uh, Tygoon. And uh, if we talk about the product, this is based on MQB platform. And since this car is coming, the subcompact uh, SUV segment, the length has to be below 4000 mm. So this is 3995 mm. Uh, just for uh, your reference, Kushak is around 4225 mm. Uh, otherwise, the width of this car, the platform is similar. So in that case, the dimensions have changed as far as length is concerned. Question number two, what uh, kind of engine options are we going to see in this Skylark? So right now, Skoda is uh, hinting at one liter TSI engine, which is producing around 116 PS and 178 Newton meters of torque. This will be mated to six-speed automatic or six-speed manual transmission. So basically, just single engine options we are going to see. Uh, as far as uh, fuel efficiency is concerned, so you'll have to wait uh, till the global premiere of uh, this car. Then we might get the official tested fuel efficiency figure for Skoda Kailak. Now, in case you were wondering what could be the expected price for this Skoda Kailak, as far as uh, Skoda top management is concerned, uh, if you've watched our previous interviews, they have claimed that uh, they are going to price it really aggressively. This is going to be most aggressively priced uh, car in India from Skoda. And plus, according to their own presentations, we have seen they want to compete uh, with uh, Beza, uh, Nexon, maybe Venue, Sonnet, those kind of cars. So we can expect the pricing to be uh, in that bracket. But at the same time, we have also seen uh, lots of efforts from Skoda uh, to keep it uh, really aggressive and competitive. And that is the reason their uh, car is localized up to 95%. Uh, this is uh, designed and engineered in India. And they are also planning to increase the touch points of Skoda in India. Now, the most common uh, questions, uh, how is the interior? What kind of features are we looking at? Uh, how is the space? How is the comfort? So these are the questions we cannot answer right now. As we uh, told you, this is a covered drive. This is their international uh, format. And uh, that's why when they uh, invited us for this covered drive, we said yes, because we have seen lots of buzz around camouflage cars. We have seen uh, your interest in uh, spy pigs. And even we wanted to be part of a uh, feedback process where we understand how this car is being developed. Now the safety bit. Kailak comes with a claim of best in-segment front crash module and gets 25 safety features standard, including six airbags, traction and stability control, anti-lock brakes, brake disc wiping, electronic differential lock, etc. Now the question which we can answer, and that is the drive and handling of this car. How is this uh, Skoda Kailak car to drive and how does it handle on the track? And I guess now I understand why uh, Skoda chose this going to track uh, to test this car because this is going to be its USP. This is what I feel. On the speed track, this uh, felt composed, confident. On corners, it felt uh, very uh, calm. 
and uh, the handling was really good. So even on high speeds, on corners, this uh, performs really well. And this segment, this is going to be its USB, I feel. And uh, the star of this whole act or star of this whole episode, I think, is the suspension. Because the kind of setup we are seeing on this suspension, in this segment, this is going to be an enthusiast car. They like the drive of this car on the corners, on the straight, uh, on the gravel track also. I sat on the front seat and uh, second row and on the gravel track also. It was not like typical 4x4 off-roading. Uh, section but at the same time it was really uneven and the kind of tracks or roads we see when we leave the highways and those kind of tracks the passenger or the cabin felt composed and uh, pretty comfortable so in this segment i think handling and performance there are two uh, things which are going to be the usb of this skoda kailak we tried answering a couple of questions in this video for the rest of them we will have to wait till the 6th of november so how do you like this car and I'm sure you still have lots of questions and some of the questions we might or we can answer. So do send in your comments and don't forget to subscribe to Overdrive.